All right, so I'm gonna walk you through how to download some code uh, from GitHub or GitLab. This assumes you have a Linux computer. If you have a Windows computer, you can get something called Git Bash. If you have a Mac, uh, Git works exactly the same. If you don't know if you have Git, if you just type in Git into your terminal, um, you should see a bunch of stuff come up. Um, so what you wanna do is if you come over to say GitLab, this is a private repo, but if you have, if, you're, if, if you are one of my students and you wanna get access to this drive, or sorry, this, uh, this repo, just tell me your username and I will add you to this members note. Um, once you're added into, this mem into the members here, um, my recommendation is just to do a, a git clone. So if you copy this here and go back to your terminal and you type in git clone and then control shift V will paste that in. It will ask you to uh, type in your username and then your password. And uh, if you have access rights to this repo, it will pull everything down. Okay, and this is pretty big um, repo here, so I think it'll, this is gonna take a while. Hmm, maybe I should have done this ahead of time. There's a lot in this repo here, man. Okay. Oh gosh, all right, so there's everything. So if we go into, into multisat here, you know, I pulled everything down. This file here needs a couple things. So if you go into the dynamic model and this symlinks in here, you'll see that this is completely blank. And the reason why is because you also need um, some code on my GitHub. So if you go over to my GitHub, I have a C directory and I have a bunch of files in here that you need to run this, this code. Um, this code here is open source, so anybody can download this. So you don't need to be added as a, uh, as a member to this repo. All you need to do is just grab the uh, SSH, just how we did before. Um, so oh, this is SSH. Um, you can do git clone, you just have to change the command a little bit. So I'm gonna type in control shift V and I'm gonna do git clone except I'm gonna change this to HTTPS colon backslash. And then just how we had it before, it's gonna be github.com slash cmontalvo c.git. And this should take two seconds because it's only a couple C++ files. So now if you look, if you clone this somewhere, um, you're gonna have uh, a multisat directory and a C directory. And so if I, if I jump over to the multisat directory and the multisat plus plus directory and type in make, it's gonna try and compile um, a couple software using that make file, but then it's gonna throw an error um, when it tries to find those um, CPP files that are in this C folder. And there it is, matlab.h, there's a fatal error. So what you need to do is you need to go over to the dynamic model and the sim links and if you uh, cat this install file, um, what it's asking you to do is for you to run this and give it the directory of where your C files are. And what it'll do is it will create symbolic links for you. So if you just type in dot slash install sim link and I type in home Carlos desktop C, um, that will, and if I type in uh, ls dash la, you can see that it linked all of the files in there. So now when I go back to the uh, main directory and type in make, it is now compiling all of the different files and there is no matlab.cpp error, okay? And so if I ever make a change to the C code, the benefit of having this git track on here and this symbolic link is that if I ever make a change to the code, all you need to do is type in git pull origin master and right now they're, you're already up to date, but if I make a change to the code, I can just let you know, hey, the C directory has been updated. You can pull down the updated changes and then it will link, it will link to your uh, multi-site directory. And that's how you can kind of get codes to link together. Um, that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.